Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how you can um, cut away a part of this object uh, when the cut fails. And real quick guys, well, you know that I have a new course, Practical Sci-Fi Design, you will learn to effectively model instead of 3ds Max and Plasticity, and then use V-Ray to create procedural materials. And all without leaving Max, you will learn how to do color correction, volume light, lens effects, and use V-Ray's decal system to create quick decals. So be sure to check that out in the description. So let me, this is just, I'm just doing a little daily warm up right here. So a lot of times guys, when you use cut, uh, it's a great way to remove parts that you don't want. So for example, let's say I create just a, a little sphere right here as a very quick example, B for new body. All right, and I wanna go ahead and cut uh, out, out this portion right here. So I'm gonna press C, I'm gonna select that right there. As you can see, it's gonna take this face, kind of extend it out here, and then we can cut away, which means that this, uh, face here will be planar or you know match up to this face if it's curved so if I select this I can now press QQ and it's gonna give us this very nice result right here and this is this is uh, one of the keys to getting very cool results when using uh, when using CAD but in some situations it doesn't quite work as you expect so for example I create this box on here I want this box to kind of emanate from here and I want it to be cut off exactly at this face so I'll select this I'll press C and just like I did previously, I'll select this face, right? You can see whenever we have a red box here in Plasticity, it's letting us know there's a problem. So uh, if I right click here, it's letting us know, oh, it's not working. And you know, there's not much settings here. So, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But how can we make this work? Well, we can make this work by selecting this and pressing Shift D to clone this out here. I'll also just select this. I'll select this edge, I'll press F, I'll press E, X, T, extend sheet right here. I can now click here, as you can see, we're going to extend the sheet like so. I can now select this, hold shift to select that as well, press Q, and now I can delete this part. Look at that guys, just like that, we've deleted that, but we've bypassed the C, the cut process, because it didn't work. Let me go ahead and press QQ. Let's see if that will... Yep, as you can see, it solves that issue right there, which means we can now continue by uh, working with this. All right, guys, so that is the way you can bypass cut if it doesn't work to still get the result that you want. All right, thank you for watching and take care.